Okay, so video for the Tripe One X H3B Kailua. Let me see, are we recording? Yes, we are. Okay. There, it comes in three colors, and if you'd like to win one, comment below this video. You got to be a subscriber. Like the video if you can, it will help the algorithm. Um, I'll give one of each away to people that comment below. This is the. This is probably one of the best collabs that I've done. Um, certainly in its price range, it's better in its performance than the Olina. It's got two quality drivers. One is taking care of basically the low and mids, and the other is taking care of the mids and the uh, upper mids and treble pretty much. Um, the Without taking other sets from other companies because of the strong bias that I've got, I can explain a little bit to you before I let you go. And this is a link to this so if you want to buy it. And this will, should be on sale for the summer event for the next three days. The Melee was a $50 set that at its time, when a lot of shit were V-shaped and had BA timber in the treble, and it was a very good option, especially for somebody with my library. When the idea came to upgrade that, it became apparent that the, the Melee graphene driver simply had extreme limitations when it came to treble, upper treble. Three different types of graphene, because I was stuck on graphene like I was on beryllium for a while. I just thought, graphene, graphene, I like the way it sounds. No, no. If you're a DIY person, or if you're a company and you put this stuff together, you know what I'm about to say. Graphene as a low-end driver in collaboration with some BAs, like a hybrid or a tribrid, is totally fine. It's a good driver. As a sole dynamic driver, graphene has its limitations, and you can start to see patterns when you see sets. If, if it's a graphene like what I've got, what I had, and three different types, it does not do treble well. Um, so the idea of the Olina was to go away from that and to take a known driver from a set that had matured and been through um, the hobby and had already had its moment. Um, and that was I did partly that with Red Eyes, Short Bus, um, and he showed me a picture of the back of the O2 and said, dude, can you get these? Of course I can. Why not? The, the thing was, is it okay to do that? Contact. I said, can you get this driver? And they looked at it and said, sure. And I said, is it okay to get it because this is from the O2? And they said, wait a minute, let me check. A couple hours later, they get back and said, should be no problem. How many do you think we need? I said, well, we're taking about a $300 set and we're taking the same engine and putting it also in a metallic shell. So I think you should get a lot, which was a good call because they sold a bunch of them. The Olina had some issues with the mesh because of moisture that got built up. Um, that was fixed to some extent with the Olina SE. This doesn't have that same mesh because the mesh that those had isn't even available anymore. When talking about the development of this several months ago, they said, we can't get the same dampening as the others, but we can try. And I said, well, no, whoa, whoa, no, don't try. Whatever you've been using recently, go ahead, like the Piccolo and whatever is providing that, let's go ahead and do that. And I said, okay, so bullet dodged. Um, so the O2 was a set that was, and still today is regarded as a very, very good option for a single dynamic driver, particularly for people that are spending in that price range. So basically took a set that was 300 to 283, brought it down to 99, and at the time I thought this is when Chi-Fi works. This is the whole point of it. The margin of profit is smaller, but the sales volume goes up. It's really a win for pretty much everybody around, as long as there's no toes being stepped on. And at the period of time that had gone from when that was released to when Olina was released, in Shenzhen, Guangdong, in that area, was that's, that was an acceptable amount of time. And people were spoken to and checked with. The Kailua is slightly similar. It contains drivers that are in a set that is known and is very good, the lower driver, the full range. but. I'm less able to explain that to you because it's okay, it's been accepted, but and the tuning is completely different, but it's uh, getting into OEM in this hobby is something that companies just don't want to get into. They don't want to, you know, this company's related to that. Oh, they're actually not, but they source from the same place. And that's not a discussion that anybody wants to have, so we won't have that here. Um, suffice to say that the idea of the Olina has been shared on the Kailua. It contains high quality drivers. Its cable is decent. Uh, the shells are good. Um, they're metal. Um, they're well built. You could step on it and should be fine. I wouldn't advise you stepping on it. It's got great extension. It plays back my library well. I'm going to let other reviewers speak to specifics because I'm obviously way too biased. But I wanted to say that the melee lessons were learned 
and taken to the Olina. And the Olina was taken to the Kailua. So, never underestimate Chai Fai. And I mean that in a good way. I mean that they can take things that are in one price range, be convinced to move it to another price range, because at the end of the day, the amount of dollars obtained can be the same if the sales, if you're going to drop the price, but you're going to increase the number of units that go out, you're going to maybe end up in the same place. And because you're in more hands, the amount of people that are giving feedback about your brand or your item increases over if it had been the other way. Less sales, but more expensive. You're getting more exposure. So there's several kind of sub-wins in that whole idea. Um, so I, I thought this would be interesting for people that are kind of interested kind of in how the hobby works. There's a lot of stuff that seems to make sense, but nobody talks about it because why would you? Business is business, and your business is getting value for your money, not having uh, quality control issues, having companies just randomly change the tuning in the middle or stealth changing the drivers. You'd be surprised how often this stuff actually happens. Um, you can take a look at Crin's measuring tool and see that companies even like 64 Audio and others, sometimes the ver sample one and sample two don't really look a lot alike. There's a lot of variations. There's a lot of lack of channel matching and sets that are over $1,000. So lots of stuff going on um, that I might get into eventually with this channel. But at this point, this is a collaboration. I think it sits better at the replay of my library above the Olina, but it's priced better than it. So we're continuing to kind of go down. Um, and I guess I'll leave it at that. And for a specific discussion of how it plays back, it's my library just before I leave. It obviously does well that's pretty much a given. The only set that wasn't really specifically designed for the entire portion of my library was really a clone of another person's set. Um, and that's that was reflected in how it didn't do my library as well as some other sets. So that's it. That's the Kailua. Um, it sounds dope. And pay attention to reviews. And I'm out.